first, there's this video uh, from True North News. Released this video of a recent parliament meeting, Canada. So in, in the video that we're about to show you guys, conservative MP Colin Carey is bringing a question. And the question is coming from one of his own constituents. So he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. He brings this question to the meeting. And he asks about a clip that we'll show you after this. And it's interesting because just as he's finishing up his question, his mic gets cut off. Now he's, he's coming to the meeting virtually. He's not actually physically present. And then they cut his audio and then um, what's NDP, right? New Democratic Party, I think, mm -hmm. in Canada. Uh, Charlie Angus declares that Kerry was spreading disinformation with his question. So check this clip out. Constituent that wanted me to ask a question about outside interference to our democracy. Klaus Schwab is the head of the World Economic Forum, and he bragged how his subversive WWF World Economic Forum has quoted infiltrated governments around the world. He said that his organization had penetrated more than half of Canada's cabinet. And I was wondering, in the interest of transparency, could the member please name which cabinet ministers are on board with the WEF's agenda? My concern is the deputy. Uh, order, order, order. I, I know he was. I know the, uh, uh, the member was in a, a really good, good question there, but the the, the audio is really, really bad, and the video is really, really bad as well. Um, and I and I and I apologize. I don't know if if the member. Okay, uh, let's let's uh, let's try again. The honourable the, the, the honourable member for Timmins James Bay. Mr. Speaker, that member was promoting open disinformation. That's not debate. Okay, the <laughs> audio was the clearest Zoom audio I've heard in forever. Uh huh. And it, he's clearly using his own microphone and everything. Like, exactly. He knew what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. But as soon as if if we could like pause yeah. the clip. Yep. As soon as he said Klaus Schwab. Yeah. The parliamentary leader literally looks around, scrambling, and like shut it off shut it off and the and you the, saw the guys back and forth yeah. walking like oh, do i turn it do, what do i hit uh, yeah yeah should we just like, cut it the page is like oh crap <laughs> this is my big moment i gotta do something and then can't do it yeah so that's a clip that if if you have friends or family or anybody who's saying you know the great resets the conspiracy theory it's not real whatever it is being presented in parliament in canada and yep. they're freaking out when it gets mentioned yeah exactly and that he is saying, I want the the ranking member to start calling out these people. Yeah, like yeah, show me who. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah name start them. naming them. <laughs> yeah, they won't let that happen. So here's the here's the best part though. So that guy at the end says, "Oh well, he was spreading obvious right. misinformation or disinformation or whatever." I don't think that's true because here's the clip he was talking about. We are very proud of now as a young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau. Um, president of Brez of uh, Argentina and so on, so that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau, and I know that half of this cabinet, or even more half of uh, half of this cabinet, are for our uh, actually young global leaders of the world economy right. forum. Okay, so there's Klaus Schwab himself saying he had met with Justin Trudeau and at least half, if not more than half of his cabinet have been penetrated by the World Economic Forum and the Great Reset. Yep. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, that was 2017. Yeah, I think so. So yeah. five years ago. Yeah. So who knows what that number is now? Correct. Oh, yeah. It's yep. got to be greater than that yep. at this point. But I maybe maybe I'm going way off here, but they're at the John F. Kennedy I Historical <laughs> School of Government. Yep. Uh, uh -huh. John Kennedy wouldn't even be accepted in the Republican Party right now, let alone the Democratic Party. Yep. He'd be too conservative for all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Mm -hmm. If you look at his policies, he would be con he would be considered too conservative for the Republicans right now. And uh, anyway, I just think it's it's interesting that these schools of government, these schools around the, the country are allowing this nonsense to happen in their buildings. It, it's crazy that they're even talking about penetrating other governments with their ideology and and they're teaching young skulls full of mush that's what i'm so proud of this younger generation like right there plain as a day their goal was to get them from the day they were born and indoctrinate them and turn them into world leaders yeah and that's what we see now all across the globe yeah 
So that was just such an interesting yeah, I mean, exchange he, there. He's referencing what we just watched in Parliament yep. and saying, and oh no, this is dis that guy says this is disinformation. No, these are their words. And ex exactly why my Facebook page had issues, it, it's the same thing. We're using yeah. their words, their video, mm -hmm. their words, their and stats, their, their data. stats, their data, yep. and and all of social media and everywhere else. They're saying no, 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 no. That's misinformation. No, it's from your own mouth. 